as an adult, I feel like I've just been finding myself more with dance. She's rich. She's rich, rich. It's worth the tension. She's Latina too. It's a performance? She sounds just like the studio version. How? You pull me by my hair, so I don't go nowhere. Tell me you love me, but you treat me like I'm never there. You say the cruelest words, and yes, it breaks my heart. Cause I'm over here working my ass off. Why is it so hard to see? Why? Yeah, uh, K through 12 choreography slash K through 12 music cover coming soon. Hello, my favorite, it's cold. Hold on. Hiya! What jacket should I wear in this video? Let's go with Champion. Why is it so hard to see? Why? I know myself I would plead. Uh, E. I'm just like you, you're like me. I'm perfect and human, are we? I'm on display for all you fuckers to see, show, and tell. Harsh words if you don't get a pick with me. My battery's about to die. And we're back. Did you guys notice I changed some things up with my wall? I added Rihanna Anti, The Beatles, whatever album this is. K through 12, Lana is still there, and I need to replace this lady. Let me know any suggestions for where should what should go right here. Anyways, today we're reacting to episode two and three of Melanie's new series, where she talks about her creative journey, her life. We get to see her house, and yeah, yeah. Um, episode two is called PE with Melanie Martinez, and she's on a rope in a corset. So I don't really know what's gonna happen there. And episode three is called Recess with Melanie Martinez, and she's singing in a baby outfit. So everything typical of Melanie Martinez, we don't know what the heck we're gonna get into it, but we know it's gonna be good. So let's just do it. Subscribe if you're new here. Don't forget to like the video, because my goal for this video is 500 likes. And don't forget to also head over to my Instagram and DM me any video requests, suggestions, commentary, anything like that. Head over to Instagram and send it that way. Have you subscribed yet? Scroll down and subscribe. And don't forget to like the video. Like I just said. I'll wait. $98? What the fuck is this? Oh. My brother is sending me all the stuff he got me for Christmas, and I'm wondering why it's so expensive. <coughs> okay, back to the video. I'm a thanks... Thanks. Gotta go. I'm filming. Okay. Episode two, episode three, let's get it. Show and tell. <clears throat> P.E. I had loved dancing as a kid, but not in a serious way. I never had a real dance class. I just love- So you're telling me those demonic little creatures from... What music video was it? Where the bunnies come and stab those, those people? I don't know. But you're telling me they're not just like figures of her imagination. She actually has plush- Dancing as a kid, but not in a serious- Plush figures of them? I could not sleep with these little creatures 
in, in my sight. I never had a real dance class. I just loved to just move around my house and be kind of silly. So she does have a heart in pool. Teenagers, I kind of lost that. Just How the hell? Bored, withdrawn to myself and not very expressive. And then as an adult, I feel like I've just been finding myself more with gifts. She's rich. She's rich, rich. I am Brian Friedman, and I am the choreographer of K through 12. I come from a dance background, a choreography background. I'm kind of overwhelmed with all that's happened in these 30 seconds. We got to see her rich, rich house. Now we're in, we're, we're getting introduced to the choreographer who did K through 12. This is too much. Oh my God, this is. Action background, but this was my first time ever <coughs> working with someone like you. <laughs> someone special like you. How did I end up here? I love her hair. So, Where did this come from? How did you find me? I'm obsessed with early, like, 2000s award show performances and anything where there's, like, a lot of theatrics. I feel like that's, like, missing right now. Yeah. I really wanted to try to bring that back. Just seeing your name pop up everywhere with all, like, the coolest performances. Mm -hmm. Britney stuff, all that stuff. I was just like, I want to go that way. You know, I really want to push myself to do more than what I thought that I was capable of. And you really helped me <laughs> You would have two and a half four hours <coughs> total to learn each song. That was it. And then we would review at the end of each day. So the songs that you were learning on day eight and nine, you literally only had four hours and maybe one rehearsal to follow that up. Sometimes a queen. Six weeks before you would perform it again. And I don't think anyone would ever guess that. Yeah. You yeah, no. Things differently. Very differently. Because yeah. didn't she spend four hours making this album? Not four hours. For four years. So she went from four years to preparing this album to four hours preparing the choreography. Wow. Sometimes you just don't have time. I'm just, I urge you next time. <laughs> next give me like double the time. Uh -huh. Just double. <laughs> so he said next time they want to work what again. What's your favorite dance? I want to say it's between detention and high school sweetheart. I haven't seen this part of the movie. I didn't see this. Which makes sense now in hindsight that you were saying. I'm assuming that's a scene out of the movie. And in what context would would Crybaby be dressed like that in school? She said F you Kelly and F the teacher. F a dress code, bitch. You were living out this pop fantasy, <laughs> which makes sense now in hindsight that you were saying, you know, the early 2000s, these performances yes. that you did, I felt yeah. like that's who you were. What are those little those figures up there? Showed up, and that was sort of a bad thing because then I saw what you were capable of. Oh, yeah. My legs don't work. <laughs> I like You're like, I'm good with upper body, yeah, but I, my legs mm. don't work. Yeah, the gestural legs, stuff, really. But your legs work in detention. Is all right. You were saying, you know, that when you first started, they wanted I really to need to finish the movie. Into... Well, it's just what people expect, you know? Like, yeah. they expect the cliche, kind of like, oh, she's Latina, so, like, she needs to Latina. be hot, you know? And it's like, show more skin. Detention is kind of a play on that. We, like, get progressively more sexy and, like, in the dancing, and it's kind of just like, is this what you want for me? Is this really what you expect, uh, I guess? But what's funny is that you have that in you, too. Yes, for sure. I want to be myself, like, first and foremost. And I think being myself involves being every I love her voice her technique in singing I don't think I've ever I, I've what am I trying to say I don't think I remember that part of detention where she had the deep voice guy who who does like the creepy echoey stuff and then the way she went an octave up in her voice and then the scream whisper her technique makes her music very melony. That's what I was trying to say. The amount of confidence that I gained through that experience really shows now in my life. As an adult, I feel like I am much more expressive. I am much more confident with really just everything in my life. It really does translate in a real way into your personal life. You know, in every aspect of what I do, I need that confidence as a director, as a writer, helping me grow in every way. 
I'm happy that you reached out because it's been amazing. The color is just beautiful. I've been around an artist that knows themselves and knows their vision so much and actually Favorite brings place. something to the table. And you've got a future in choreography. You, teacher. <laughs> I'll be your Yoda. A Yoda? <laughs> I love the color. The pastels are just so nice. People usually go for an earthy tone. Okay, let's go on to episode three. I can feel your blood pressure rise. Recess with Melanie Martinez. Ah, oh, I love this freaking song. Don't let them fuck you, honey. Don't. People gonna try. She's Latina too. It's a performance? She sounds just like the studio version. How? Oh! Brushed out my hair. <laughs> People gonna break. Someone will take your place. <sighs> Tell you that they're fine with dollars in their eyes. I'm about to cry right now. What the heck? Desks? How did you get those clouds in there? Her voice is spectacular. What the hell kind of instrument is this? It looks like a bedpost. What the? That's a harp. But what is this? That's. Don't let them. Their hair is beautiful. It was another heart, just at a different angle. <laughs> LOL. Ooh, ooh.
<laughs> I wasn't expecting this. What the fuck? Honestly, aside from the music, I just want to mention, I want a house tour. Can she just give us that, please? We got to see the pool. We got to see, she has like a workout room where there's a random rope in there. And her curtains, the drapes, the decorations. Her house has to be big. The spiral staircase. The coin Melanie possesses. Wow. It was nice to hear from the choreographer and learn more about how K-12 was, was created. But also, it was nice to see in episode 3 her just kind of... We take a step back and just appreciate K-12 once again. I don't think I'm going to be able to get over this album for a long time. I feel like this for at least the next, at least until her next project, will be the epitome of music for me. K-12 is just, it holds so much to me. I don't really know how else to put it. I just freak, that, the songs on the album, the album, the stories, the choreography, the movie, it just, oh, so much went into this one album and it, the fact that the music was amazing on it just makes it so much better. I'm, I, I know y'all don't want to sit here and listen to me rant on about why I like K-12 and Melanie, so I'm just going to wrap up the video now. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here because we're on the, the woad. We're on the woad to 15k. Whatever. You know what I was trying to say. Don't forget to like the video too because my goal for this video is 500 likes. Lastly, head over to Instagram and DM me any video requests or suggestions you have. And I will see you guys on the next reaction or Melanie video if you don't watch all my videos. Bye. <laughs>